Bye, Mr. Constantine. <laughs> How reliable is your snout? How reliable is any snout? He's never let me down before. I thought he's scared out of his skin. It's always the first time. Yeah, well, it's all we've got. I think we should set up a fixed OP. Lighten Street. They got a neighborhood watch scheme. Let's set up a surveillance unit in somebody's house. I'll get some addresses. Get Helen for me, would you, Grace? Let's go. Oh, sorry. Well, it's Constantine, Helen. Is your man serious? All I know is what my guy told me, Gav. And he said if we were working for Constantine, he definitely ID Hudson. All right. Keep tabs on your snout. Maybe he's telling the truth. Try this one at number eight. I'll leave it with you. Oxford Snout fronted up Yanis Constantine. What? Oxford Snout again, huh? Look, the guy's mouthing off for drugs money. Maybe he is. But then it's your job to find out, isn't it? Constantine is a runner. A professional backer, he puts money up for big robberies, not this sort of thing. Just check it out, okay? Take your own car, I can't spare a driver. Thank you very much, Cyril. Would anyone like some tea and biscuits? Or some corned beef sandwich? We're both fine at the moment, thank you. You know, I, I never want to cast aspersions, but that whole side of the street is like a running saw. It's foul with corruption and deviance. Uh, I think we'll have that cup of tea if it's not too much trouble. Of course. Well, I've got some scones. Homemade scones. Tea will be fine. What? <sighs> Homemade scones. Well, it's the only way to get them out of the room. Greasy, stinking, ugly, rotten skunk. Oh, eh? That miserable, stinking, dirty, bad bread dog. Oh, who are you talking about, man? Constantine, man! Calling us names, shouting at us, cussing us out. I tell you, when this is over, when this is over, I'm gonna rip out his windpipe. I'm gonna burn down his restaurant with him in it. Thinks we're scum, man. Well, I ain't scum! I ain't scum! He didn't even thank us for what we did for him. Do you want to kill him? Yeah, I want to kill him. It would be really funny if you kill him with his own guns. I don't think this is a good idea. Why not? I just don't, okay? What do you think, Jim? Kill him. See? <laughs> yeah, well, he would say that, wouldn't he? He's mental. Would you call me? Jim, sit down, man. Take it easy. No, nah, man. You shouldn't call me them things. I was sick. But I'm better now. Everybody knows that. He didn't mean it like that. Put the blade away, man. Tell him you didn't mean it. I'm really, really sorry, Jim. I didn't mean it. OK? Don't you ever call me that again? I won't. I promise. That's all right then. I still say we kill him. Yeah. After the job, we bring him his money. And we kill him. Yeah. With his own guns. A fresh pot. This is all very exciting, isn't it? Like one of those spy novels. Thanks. I was just saying to Mrs. Gardner, it's nice to have some company. 
Mrs. Who? Mrs. Gardner. Nice old lady lives two doors down. Sugar. You told her you had police officers in your house? Well, yes. I said you were used to the bedroom. You were expressly told not to tell anyone of our presence. Mrs. Gardner won't tell anyone. She's a lovely woman. No, no, I don't know anybody called Spider. Shut up. Who is it? What? Animals. What's up? Stupid animals. You know you've been living in a goldfish bowl. What? You're being watched. The police are climbing all over you. Who knows you're here? Nobody. Liar. Somebody knows you're here. No. Who knows you're here? Tell me. All right, wait, man. I'm thinking. A woman. What woman? I brought a woman back here one night, but she was stoned out of You brought a woman back here? Yeah, man, she What's was stoned. What's the matter with you? Are you stupid All right, wait, man. So I brought somebody back here. I was feeling lonely. No big thing. Find a woman to get rid of her. Like Thesso? Yeah, like Thesso. It's not the woman. What, what do you mean? It's not the woman. I saw the way she was looking at her this morning. She was afraid. Who then? It's the pimp. What, the one you ripped off? Look, I don't care who it is, right? You just find them and cut their tongue out. You tell Mr. Constantine that I'll do it. Because I'd really enjoy that. people you're dealing with? Yes, very upmarket. Do you know what I found in the toilet system? Surprise me. A container half filled with pervenazine. What's that? It's an antipsychotic drug. Antipsychotic? Yep. And unless the bloke's got another supply, he's going to be a very unhappy man. Wonderful. <sighs> Gareth, if they know they've been rambled, they want to know where we got our information. Mm -hmm. I better find my blood before they do. Okay. And take Aris with you. Yeah, I know. Ladies' toilet. Well, then obviously it's us we're on to them. Find a fixed OP somewhere near Constantine's restaurant. What now? I haven't eaten it. Yes, now. And keep me in contact. I'm in my own car, remember? No radio. Put your mobile, haven't you? I can't go in there. I said I can't go in there. What's the matter, Grace? Don't tell me you're shy. Marcos. I want to buy, you know? I don't know nobody called Marcus. You uh, want to buy the magazine? 
<laughs> You're a funny guy. Listen, I'm just looking for Marcos. I know he stops here, right? Marcus ain't been around for days, man. Nobody's seen him. Look, you want to buy drugs? Go.